Nolan Anagus Stevenson tonight. Just this number, 28 of 33 at the faceoff dot, and a couple of goals for the big man. Nolan, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, we were just talking with Coach about the uh, green light. It seems like when I look at your body language, the green light is always on for you. What's running through your mind when you win a faceoff? I mean, I'm just looking to play fast. If I see that the opportunity is there to score and push the ball, push transition, I'm going to try to ex execute as best as possible. Um, I'm going to look for that one more pass if, it, if needed, but I'm really a downhill guy. I want to get to the net. I want to score goals. I want to take control of the momentum of the game. So that's really why. I mean, it's working out okay. It's working out all right. Um, you know, you had this opportunity to be here and to be around one of the greatest face-off specialists in the history of the sport. What has that meant for you to be around Coach Cantabene, to learn from someone who's done it, you know, as well as anybody, if not better than anybody in the history of the game? Yeah, I mean, I've worked with a lot of great guys over my years, and I try to pick a, the little things out of each guy. Uh, Coach Cantabene being one of the best face-off guys of all time or the greatest of all time, um, I learn a lot. And it's more of the mindset thing at this point, me being a fifth year, uh, not so much the technique work. He knows that I've, I've learned that over the years, but it's more of the mentality and what it takes to kind of be a great lacrosse player all around, not, not just at the face-off X. I mean, there's no doubt about that, and you certainly do plenty of really good things otherwise. So he called you out for one that should have been a goal. Which one was it? Uh, there was a few missed shots. Goalie made a, a couple of good uh, kick saves. By the way, what? Oh, that? Last game, he's talking about that yeah, last game. Yeah, yeah that was tough. I uh, kind of intimidated the goalie a little bit, I guess. I think that's why they called it back. I stepped in the goal mouth. Uh, uh, there was a few seconds left. I thought, I thought it was good, but me and Coach looked it back, and – we got to cut out the uh, intimidation. <laughs> we got to cut that out. <laughs> hey, Nolan, who do we need to shout out? We know your Aunt Vicky was watching, and yeah, Uncle Ron. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah, they yeah. were watching tonight. So let's make sure we, you include them. But give me the whole yeah. rundown. Who do you need to I shout mean, out? All glory to God first. Um, I, I do want to shout out my mom, my parents, my dad, uh, Stacy and Brad. I do want to shout out my grandmother, Nino. Uh, I want to shout out uh, Vicky and Ron as well that tune in. Uh, just my family, them, they've been there support, and I'm coming back from an ACL injury as well uh, that took me out for a year. So I've just been battling to kind of make the best comeback I can. And I think I'm executing that to the best of my ability. I just want to kind of win games and stay focused towards that national championship at the end of the year. Right, Big one coming up on Friday night. Nolan, it's a lot of fun to watch you play, man. Appreciate, appreciate you coming up and hanging out with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.